Hi, I'm Mike Lecce, and I am the head lunatic at Sideshow Cinema. Our newest feature out is The Dungeon of Dr. Drek. Those of you who are probably in the Middle Ages like I am, proudly remember and fondly remember all the old horror hosts of that bygone era, particularly the 60s. Obviously, Vampire was the first one in her one-year run in uh, L.A., and followed by Zachary, John Zachary in New York, who became probably one of the most famous, if not the most famous, horror host in TV history. Then, of course, we have the wacky uh, Goulardi out of Cleveland, and Sven Gulli, and there's just uh, tons of other ones that came afterwards. Now, uh, normally, of course, my sideshow cinema days, I do wacky films to begin with. Uh, some people may know me from my first feature working stiffs, loons, and there's cutthroats, brain drainer, honey glaze, democracy, all these micro cinema masterpieces that I've made over the past over 25 years. I'm somewhat older than 25 years, but anyway, The Dungeon of Dr. Drake is my newest movie. It's based on my own cable access character that I created about five years ago that's been running in central Massachusetts. And uh, I had so much fun with the character, I decided, well, it would be fun to do a whole movie about the character, Dr. Drek, and his sidekick, Moner, who is a zombie, who used to be a high school cheerleader, and Dr. Drek brought her back to life as a zombie, which she doesn't appreciate at first, but she gets used to it. You know, I mean, you have to get used to whatever life hands you. Thanks a lot, mister. Not only do I come back to life too late for the big game, but my parents don't want me back either. So the uh, movie is uh, based in the 60s when the horror host boom was at its height, and it kind of describes and shows how Dr. Drek and Mona got their own TV show on a local TV station during that time period. Well, why should we show bad movies every week? Who's going to want to watch that? B-movie doesn't mean bad movie, Mona. Of course, we have lots of conflicts with the person that actually owns the station and has her own little daytime woman's show of the time period. And uh, when our show proves to be more popular than hers, we kind of nudge her off the air. Even though she owns the station, she knows where the money goes. And uh, she has to kind of yield to our uh, rather bad influence on the TV station. However, that doesn't mean she has to like it. And then she plots to see if she can kind of, uh, you know, put us in cement overcoats for the rest of our lives. It's them. Dr. Drek and Moner, they're not normal people. I know that. So that's the uh, basic uh, gist of the Dungeon of Dr. Drek. It's waggy, it's silly, it's stupid. It's like any of my movies. That kind of describes all of my movies, and you either love it or hate it. But I hope that you will like the Dungeon of Dr. Drek. What's with the rubber rat? Who are you calling a rubber rat face to face? Don't touch that! <laughs> Just because she's dead doesn't mean I've given up hope on her. Chair. Here we go. And hopefully you will buy it soon.